Good morning, everyone, or afternoon, if you're in the afternoon right now. Welcome to Lesson 7, Mini Project, Your Personal Style. I'm going to be your stylist today, and I won't be working on your hair. So, but I will help you and guide you as far as working on your web page. Today, we're looking at the question of the day. How can you express your personal style on a web page? And you're going to be adding some style and awesomeness to your web page, making it awesome sauce. Uh, here you have access, you will find in Google Classroom, your Google Doc for um, the rubric for your personal style. You will find the um, peer review, and you'll find the project guide that guides you through this process. In all of those will be in Google Classroom. And this video is in Google Classroom. So let's continue on. So the very first thing we're going to be looking at and you can go back to these at any point in time. Um, adding a heading rule set, changing text color, changing the alignment of your text, changing the font family, and even changing the font. So you can go back and practice these if you're like, oh, I don't remember how to do that. I want to do that again. Because you're going to be making this in your own page today. So anyway. So if this is add a rule set for the heading, all right, so let's see what heading we have over here. H1, let's call it an H1. Enter H1 bracket. Um, font family colon, how about, so start with an S, fantasy, I like fantasy, I'll be honest with you, okay, then font color, colon, uh, green, semicolon bracket. Oh, what's wrong with here? Let's see, it's pink. Let's just call it color. There we go. Now my elephants are green. All right. Let me get rid of this picture. I'm going to finish that up. That's how I do that. Ah. All right. So you do a couple of those or just know that you can go back to them to help you. So this is um, looking at R RBG and how to change the color. So here's something that's gonna blow your mind. Paint is different than light, you know that. You learned that yellow and blue make green, right? Well, now we're looking at Red, green, and blue are the primary colors. We've got red is out of there. And look what happens if we get rid of blue. You got yellow. So what we're saying is with light, red and green make yellow. With light, I'm going to say it again, red and green make yellow. Yes, we got rid of blue. Now we just have red and green. So we can move, take away a little bit of green, take away a little bit of red, take away a lot of red and we got green. We add that red back. Okay, so, and that's how you, if you want some very specific colors, you're going to do it Instead of, so with color, you do RBG, and then you add numbers in there with commas. I'll show you how that's done. Okay, so we're going to finish. All right, so you, it says here, add 
um, add to your HTML page. So put in put in stuff like your drawing. So here's where mine was. Here's where mine is. Okay, I have a style sheet. Okay, what do I have most of? I have a lot of H1. I have a lot of H3, so I'm going to use H3. So I'm going to put in H3 bracket color colon RBG 123 comma uh, 24 comma 57 comma oh no no and then semicolon and then close bracket and what do I got My H3 should have changed. Oh, refresh and save. Maybe I have it backwards, RGB. There we go, RGB. Okay. So now you have color on each of these. Maybe my color isn't as bright as it should be. If I add a little bit of more blue. Now it's more of a purple. There we go. Now it's okay. So I'm going to do that with each of mine and make it look awesome. So that's what we're doing. All right. Make changes. Oh, shoot. I'm ahead of myself, everyone. I apologize. I'm supposed to just now is when I add my CSS properties. Okay, make all your CSS changes. Okay, I've got an H1. I'm going to change that to uh, font. Family. And no, I'm not going to use fantasy. This time I'm going to use sans serif. Okay. Color, red, there we go, and close bracket. see there we go now it's red and then you would do whatever changes you want to do you can continue on doing that and remember if you don't know how to do that you can go back to part two and do a couple of, oh i want to change the color how do i do that again okay all right Finish the HTML. Go ahead and finish your CSS. All right, and check to make sure all the content is there. Do you have all the content? Did you check to make sure the tag structures are correct? Did you check that the CSS property style the content correctly? Did you make sure the code is organized, readable, and free of bugs? Don't say you're done unless you actually are. Okay. Once you do, check your rubric. Check your um, yeah. Check your rubric. Make sure that you're golden, and the make sure you check the project guide and. Make sure everything is awesome, all right? Because everything can be awesome. You are awesome, and you are in charge of your own happiness. So remember that, and uh, and make sure that you create a good day for yourself. Take care, everyone, and we shall see you later. <laughs>